Christians, and in mm -hmm. Matthew 25, okay? Mm -hmm. Verse 7, I have the Amplified, but I think the King James might say that they, um, that they trimmed the wicks. Yes. Okay? Now, the Amplified says they put their own lamps in order. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're the light of the world. Our lamps could be our lives. We also know that the oil is the oil of the Holy Spirit. It's that anointing, okay? And we're, we're supposed to be lit, okay? Now the thing is, the Amplified says, they put their own lamps in order. So individually, we have to examine ourselves we and, and that's what I know that we're doing because you see those that have ears to hear what the spirit is saying to his church you, you see what I mean then we'll mm -hmm. hear and then we'll know we'll say Lord you know clean it up you mm -hmm. know what I mean uh today I was even praying just for jeepers and like you know you see like a a, a plexi a, a plexi like a plastic tube big one mm -hmm. you know and, you know, and I know that sometimes, you know, like with our arteries or whatever, um, we get built up plaque. Mm -hmm. So, so when I saw this tube and I'm like, Lord, Holy Spirit, come in and cleanse us out so that yeah. your spirit can flow without any type of plaque buildup, you know, representative sin, <laughs> any little things, you know, just clean. So there, there's a good flow and there's nothing hindering your flow your presence in our life. Father, I says, who, who can move the heart of God? Like who can move the heart of God? And yes. then all the, all of a sudden, you know, the bride can, mm -hmm. the bride of Christ moves the heart of God. Yes. You no, know, the bridegroom's coming and he's moved because you know, he's coming back for his bride. Yes. You know, and we move his heart. We move his heart. Mm -hmm. You know, praise God. I, I, you know, I was going to say, like, I'm not going to cry today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to cry and get all emotional. Mm. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. You know, when the, when the body of Christ prays, when the body of Christ goes into intercession and prays with an open heart, Okay, and humbles before the Lord. God, he, God opens doors. God does miracles. Yeah. He's still doing miracles, you know. I but know. We, you feel the we have I to know. surrender. We have to surrender. Oh, my God, give it. Give it to him. Give it. Yeah. And let him move. Let him Amen. move. Give him. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Come. We open up our hearts to you. Take over. Take over. Because he's powerful. Amen. God's power is endless. Endless. Mm -hmm endless amen yes. amen you know and you know what and, and i'm just gonna pray and because this is another thing like i'll just be sitting there and i just get these waves i get mm -hmm. these waves of the just the presence lord and everything so i just want to you know silver and gold have i none but lord i thank you holy spirit you go forth and you touch my sisters and you bless them with your present like like you are me you just Bless them. Let them sense your presence, that tangible presence, Father God, and your ministering angels that are a flame of fire that protect us and, and, and just guard us round about. I thank you, Lord, that their places of residence, Father God, is a holy habitation to you, and you have free course to move round about in and out like Jacob's ladder. Lord, do your will. We've purposed in our hearts, Father God, to serve you. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you're here today. Your word says, Father, where two or more are gathered in your name, Jesus, you're there in our midst, Father God. And we're having communion and we're breaking the bread of your word we thank you for the new wine, Holy Spirit of our Lord. We thank you that you're creating us and making us new earthen vessels. We're not putting your new wine into old wine skins, but you're, you're, you're transforming us. Hallelujah. And we give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And, and then I think the King James Version says, 
and the virgins, they, they trimmed their wicks. And again, just like we were just talking about, we have to trim off the old things so that when we light it again, the Lord lights it, it it's bright. Because if that wick isn't trimmed, it won't be as bright. You, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It just won't burn as bright. So now we trim it off. We get all the old dead stuff away, you, you know? Right. And then he's able to use that and it absorbs that oil mm -hmm. better. You know, there again, there's no hindrance, you know, from the top of it. And then it could make a, a good flame. Yes. You know, and you know, another misconception too is sometimes um, like that old piece of wick that has to be trimmed away. People might say, well, you know what? That's what the Lord did then. Well, you know, in the eighties, he was doing this and they may still think he's, he's doing the same thing. He's mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. he's not doing that. I don't have the cookie. Okay. Wow. I don't corner God. I don't have the corner on God and the Holy ghost, but I know he's not doing that. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I mean? And, 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 and we had experiences with the Lord and, and built up in his word and everything, but you know, that helped to lay those foundations, <laughs> you know, and, and we keep the good and we throw out the bad, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, um, even the Israelites, you know, when they were in Egypt before they, they split with the Exodus and everything, I mean, they had to go through the house and they had to purge it out. Yes. Purim, right? They, they had to purge out all the old leaven. It, it, it wasn't going to be good. They couldn't take it with them. They, they couldn't, couldn't take, it with, take them. it with them. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't take it with you. That's right. Praise God. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise God. Let them anoint us anew for the purpose of purposes he has for now you know Amen. Yes. praise Amen. the aim is anyways to cu cultivate to continue to cultivate the presence of the lord okay and um we we already went into where the flame we have to keep that flame burning it cannot go out we yes. it, that needs to be a 24 7 and just a we we keep that that flame and that presence burning the anointing is the oil of god that flows from his presence okay and when we're in his presence it flows down and then um it is overflowing the overflowing of a divine life which has been consecrated and set apart to effectively impart the light and the life and the fragrance of god's word in our lives and the lives of others you know and even and and we know because even the when they put the wood on the fire that we had read in, in what Leviticus that they changed their garments and they were white linen and, and they, they were preparing themselves, you know, for this, you know, last week when we had communion, mm -hmm. it was so special, the presence of the Lord. And we know the Holy Spirit's a gentleman and how gentle he was it, it was just so special it, it was what i wanted to share even like to cultivate the presence of god here and and the lord kept bringing to me the upper room because that's when the holy spirit came down okay yes. and and he was there one with them and everything and he would send the comforter to us and over here the significance okay of the upper room okay i wanted to check it out this is so neat. The first mention of the upper room in scripture, first Chronicles, when David gave Solomon the plans for the temple. Okay? Yes. Isn't that something? And there was an upper room there. Who knew? And then it mm -hmm. says, the upper room represents a place of prayer. Mm -hmm. Okay? The secret time, quiet time and the place that you prepare and set aside for the habitation of the Lord and master. Okay. So the upper room is a prey is like your secret place mm -hmm. in the Lord. The first time, well, the first time, not really, I guess the second time in the upper room, mm -hmm. keeping David's upper room in Solomon's temple. Number one, the second time would be, when the Lord told the disciples to meet him in the upper room 
And that's when they were going to have the Passover. And that's when he was going to give them the first time he was going to break bread and do the wine union. and communion. And that was the first time before he was carted off. The, se the second time, okay, now that we see this is when he was in the upper room and he instituted uh, communion. And that communion, and when we, we're in prayer, that's exactly what we're doing. We're communing with the Lord. We're, we're, we're just in his presence. We're communing with him, and it's beautiful. The third time, the third time that they were in this upper room was when the Lord came and said, not many, go, in, go into town and meet me in the upper room. Then they waited for 50 days five again, five, 50 days. All right. And, and I know 50 means something to, it means Pentecost. Pente means five and then Pentecost. Okay. That's when the disciples met there with the women and everything. And then the Holy Spirit came down. So there were three times. Praise God. And, and, you know, just thinking about this, the first time in the temple of Solomon, Mm -hmm. In Chronicles there, first time we see God, mm -hmm. Jehovah God, yes. Adonai, okay? We, we see Elohim. We see the Lord, the Lord God. Mm -hmm. The second time we see Jesus and the disciples have Jesus for the communion. Woo! <laughs> the yes. third time, woo! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, we that's cool. we get the Holy Ghost. The Spirit, yes. We get the three in one. Yes. I can't even believe. I know. Yes. So can you imagine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. I mean, who know, right? I mean, isn't that neat? That's cool. Wow. That's very cool. Yes. Oh, amazing. God. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Powerful. Yes. You know, so, so praise the Lord. And, and, um, so that is so that, I mean, that, that just hot off the press. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. That's you know, awesome. Yeah. So, you know, we, we could look into the, um, the, the first Chronicles and everything and maybe yes. just look into that a little bit more mm -hmm. and, um, just let the Lord minister that mm -hmm. revelation you know, to us in, in all these different, you know, how he yeah. showed e each one and, and, you know, one attribute of the Lord doesn't do anything that the other doesn't because they're all three in yes. one, you know, yes. right. and everything. So, and um, do you know, because God told David, because you have blood on your hands, yeah. you will not build that temple for me. That's right. Your son Solomon will build that temple. Yeah. And when Solomon built the temple, David did do the plans. Yeah. Okay. He yes. worked with him till his deathbed. Yeah. But Solomon built a temple. And when Solomon built that temple, that when they consecrated that that first opening, that celebration, yeah. you know how God responded that he accepted? It said smoke. There was like smoke filled the whole temple. And that yeah, was God's sign of saying, okay, <laughs> I approve. I, my presence will be in this That's temple. That's right. And because the promise that you made to your father to build a temple, okay, and what he wanted to be has come to pass. And that's when God told Solomon, my spirit, okay, his, 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 his that's, that just, all that, that smoke yeah. filled the temple. And that was God's approval that his presence was right. there at the temple. Oh yeah, I was reading that too hey, the other day. Yeah. Oh my God, it was amazing, <laughs> amazing, yes. Oh my God, because I had never, you know, you read the, the stories and everything, but I, I, I never knew that the whole temple had been filled with, with, the, with smoke. Okay. I didn't know either. With, with fire. Yes. Yeah. And that's in, that's in, in second Chronicles. Okay. When, when he dedicated the temple to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, amen, amen, yes. and amen. And you know, we, we know we get born again and we dedicate this temple to the Lord and we say, yes. Holy Spirit, come with fire, praise the Lord yes. of our God, you yes. know? 
and uh, praise the Lord, you know. Purifying clean, yes. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. Clean hands and a pure heart. Clean hands and a pure heart. Amen, amen. And we just thank you, Lord, for just forgiving us our muck. And um, But we thank you for your grace and your mercy. They just mm -hmm. come in despite our mess. Yes. You know, he, he, he wants to use, you know. Yes earthen vessels and you know he's going right? to clean us because he's holy That's because right. he's holy and because he is clean he's god god almighty amen he he's going to take the muck and, and the dirt <laughs> he's going to cleanse and he's going to he's going to make it all new he's going to make right. it all new he's going to lift it up oh amen. my lift it amen up. Mm. amen he's going to lift amen. it up amen Amen. Do you guys, when you pray at all, do you anoint your head in oil? No. You know what? Yes, that's a good thing. Seek the Lord, you know what I mean? And yes. not every day, but, but sometimes I just get the sense that, you know what, let me just anoint my head in oil because we're going to the presence of the king. Let's do that. You know, you don't want it to like be religious, but you want it to be yeah. open and Holy the ghost can, led, you know, right? Can I tell you a little something about sure. that? Sure. Before this whole COVID thing started, my sister in Puerto Rico, her pastor had preached and her pastor told each, each of the members of the church, get a little vase with oil. Yeah. And I want you to go and anoint your houses, yeah. anoint your houses, yeah. each and every room. And my sister told me that when I had come back after my father had passed, she says, Lily, get, get a flask of oil. She yeah. said, listen to my instructions. Yeah. I you to get that flask i want you to make sure the oil has been prayed over and i want yeah. you to anoint, anoint your bedroom anoint your in, entrance to your to your place That's right. your door your son's room i want you to anoint mm -hmm. anoint each and i did and take communion if you're able to you know mm -hmm. there, there's some days you know i'm, I'm home alone you know here in, during the day and mm -hmm. um and the lord leads me and i take communion by myself in the kitchen in prayer and I and I and I say I thank you Lord and I thank you for your covenant because you know what it's a holy thing yes. unto the Lord that's the power of God yep. that sacrifice is so yep. powerful it did all that and it is and all these blessings are there for us we just that's have right. to call on to him we have to yep. pray that's yes. right yep amen yeah no totally so if you can and then you know maybe another thing i don't know if you ha have a journal or something just for jeepers mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. keep it there and write little tidbits down that the lord maybe puts on your heart or whatever and yeah. everything. do you know what i started doing speaking of that i had gone to a church and they gave me this book beloved okay and the lord said to me you're going to be meeting you're going to be doing bible studies every week now i'm starting a page for each bible study <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. Oh, how cute. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, all right.